with KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. Aloha Poa Ono, happy Saturday. It's still wet outside, unfortunately, and the humid, humid, muggy conditions continue. But there is good news on the horizon. Tomorrow, we may still have some mostly cloudy skies, but that doesn't mean that some of uh, those showers will be falling from them. We are looking to see drier conditions, but we're going to start to uh, start off the day, especially for the west end, with those higher chances of rain, only to see scattered showers throughout the afternoon for windward areas, mainly isolated showers for leeward sides. The Kona Coast, though, could still see some afternoon scattered showers. Winds still remain on the lighter side, but that will continue to build in strength and fortunately return to more of an easterly flow after this round of stormy conditions. Now, for tomorrow, the threat of thunderstorms have diminished. It's all about the rain that's going to continue mainly for Kauai and even for the island of Hawaii. But in terms of what we have issued, flood watch remains in effect for the island of Kauai, at least in through tomorrow morning. High surf advisory for all south-facing shores will carry us through tomorrow and the eastern waters still have a small craft advisory but the high surf advisory for south-facing shores we're seeing seven to ten footers and that's going to be for all islands but just be aware we do have brown water advisories a lot of brown water after a lot of this runoff thanks to the uh, heavy showers that we've been seeing and that all was a result of this corner low that continues to linger towards the west of the island chain and will still contribute to some instability so that could keep up some at least for tomorrow, periods of heavy showers. But the good news is this high pressure system, which is a fuel to our trade winds, that will be building in closer towards the islands and in essence pushing this storm system further away towards the west, allowing drier, more stable conditions to move in towards the islands from the east. And that's going to give us back more typical, hopefully, typical trade wind weather. This first half of this upcoming week, though, may still have some enhanced trade wind showers thanks to the instability that is lingering towards the west. But then as we get into the second half of this week, this upcoming week, we're looking to get back to some regular conditions. But as we get through tomorrow, again, the heaviest chances of showers look to remain for Kauai. But because of some of the uh, southerly winds and some of the disturbance that lingers towards the east, Hawaii Island, especially windward areas, see some numerous showers throughout the day. But in terms of all windward sides, in general, we're seeing a lot less rain chances. This is going to be more isolated to scattered. And that will then, again, take us through this upcoming week into next week weekend. So heavy showers that will diminish, especially for tomorrow. Makani, our winds are going to start to build back. And as mentioned, that high surf advisory is extended. And we may even have another incoming southerly swell to keep some wave heights quite nice and comfortable. Trade wind weather, that should be again kicking in Monday. But more typical trade wind weather with less showers looks to be the second half of this upcoming week.